Hey everyone, it's John here, aka Smelly, coming to you from more music in beautiful Evansville, Indiana. And today we're going to be talking about the Fender American Professional 2, and this is with the roasted pine body. Now the Professional 2 is the step up from the very successful and profitable Professional 1 series. And a few little tweaks, a few things carried over. Um, they're pretty impressive guitars. Um, I've played a few. This is the first one uh, of that roasted pine that I've played. In fact, I've never played a roasted pine anything before, so it's pretty interesting. What I was going to do is go through some of the features on the guitar and maybe make some sounds as we go. So I'm going to start with the neck. Um, tuners wise, it's tuners. It's pretty much the uh, Fender Standard tuners that come on their professional series and the American Standard. Neck wise, they did add a little bit of depth to the neck. It's a little bit fuller. To me it feels just about perfect. Uh, I do like a little bit fuller neck, though I'm really not that picky. I can do a big neck, I can do a little neck, but this one feels pretty good. I like the rounded corners, that's a big deal with me. Um, and of course the finish, let me turn this down, The the satin finish on the back is my favorite. I absolutely love the way that feels. I think pretty much all guitars should be like that. On the actual fretboard, and of course this is a maple fretboard, maple neck, maple fretboard, uh, they've gone with the narrow tall frets, which is a little bit unique. Um, that's typically you find on certain models uh, from the custom shop, and apparently according to Fender, the narrow tall is the most requested fret size from the custom shop. They feel good to me. Um, I'm not super particular with frets, but I do like the narrow talls. It does feel like it's a little bit easier to get under the strings to do bends with. And then from the neck, we'll get to the body. And this is kind of the most unique thing in my experience, and that is the roasted pine body. Now I do have a pine Telecaster. It's not roasted, and it is a phenomenal sounding instrument, but I have no idea if it has anything to do with the pine, or the pickups, or the combination of everything. Um, but to me, the guitar does feel a little bit right, lighter. Um, I've played roasted, I've played roasted maple necks before, and I love those. The idea there is they roast them, they basically put them in an oven, and it pretty much pulls out all the moisture, which makes it so you don't have to finish them. So you can have a maple guitar neck that doesn't have to be finished. But I have never ever played anything that had roasted pine before, so this is kind of a unique experience for me. I know for a lot of people that look at pine as being a little bit more rounded highs, um, and Fender calls it a more complex sound, which I guess is maybe their way of saying it's hard to describe, perhaps. <laughs> I don't think it's too far different from alder, to be honest. Um, I, Again, you would, it'd be hard to tell without putting everything from here onto a different body made of something else. But uh, it is light. It's pretty resonant. I like that. And as far as we can tell, the only colors that you can get with the roasted pine is the natural and the Sienna Sunburst. Did I say that right? I said it right. Sienna Sunburst. That's a lot of S's for me. <laughs> and I didn't even spit. Okay. So from here, oh, let's talk about this real quick. Yep, they got the sculpted heel. It's nice. Again, this is something, let's just put it on all these style guitars because it's so much more comfortable when you got to go up to the high frets. If you're a deedle D person, like sometimes I can be, makes it so you, you can get up here and deedle D a little bit on the higher frets. Uh, the pickups, this is a big deal too. This is the, one of the things that kind of raised my eyebrow. Um, they were designed by Tim Shaw. Now these are the V-Mod 2s for the American Professional. And if you never heard of Tim Shaw, it's, you're probably just not as big a nerd as I am, but he's a pretty big name in the pickup game. He's been around a long time. And uh, like I was telling Larry early, I gotta be honest, I didn't know he was at Fender and I didn't really know if he was still alive or not, but apparently he is and he's making these great pickups. And Fender describes them as the classic single coil sound that you expect from them, but with a little bit more chime and a little bit more, mm, I guess, sparkle. And they do sound good. They sound pretty good. We'll go through some sounds here in a little bit. 
I want to go through some of the other features. Now you notice this one is a single single humbucker. This switch right here will give you, if it's down, you get the full humbucker. If it's up, you get the single coil. And the, the added feature of this beyond just having the two different tones is they've kind of designed it so that when you do tap it, you don't get a big volume loss. You know, traditionally, if you put a tap on a standard humbucker, when you tap it, the volume will kind of cut and it'll sound maybe kind of a little bit funky, but this actually sounds pretty fantastic. Tremolo wise, we've got a two point tremolo, which is, I guess, cool. I don't really know much about tremolos, I want to be honest, but it's a two point tremolo and it has um, a bigger block, tremolo block back here. You can't see it, you're just gonna have to trust me, it's in there. And from what I've read, the the upgrade to a bigger tremolo block would probably give you a little bit more sustain, maybe a little bit more punch as well. And then everything else is pretty much standard Fender. You know, I mean, it is kind of very much what it's always been when it comes to strats, but just with some modern features, which is pretty fantastic. So let's run through a few sounds. I won't try to, I'm gonna try not to drive you all too crazy. So I'm gonna start with the neck because in my opinion, the neck pickup on a Strat is like one of the best sounds ever, even though I don't have a Strat, but maybe this year, this year maybe will be the year I find one. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this pickup and single coils in general, they don't really lose their clarity. As you turn them down, they don't, they don't get muddy. I could stay there forever, but I know you want to hear some of the other positions. So let's go to four. I am resisting my Mark Knopfler licks. But you can hear them in there, right? So let's go to the middle position. Position two. Let's go with humbucker first. So we get the humbucker. This is probably going to frighten you because it's a humbucker. Too bad, actually. Single coil. That would be a very good sound with the fuzz. I can just tell. Everything's better with a fuzz. Uh, let's go back to, I think we did position two with your humbucker split. With it not split. Not really much difference, a little bit louder. So that's all on the Fender American Professional 2 in roasted pine. All right, I said it correct that time. 
Uh, it's a pretty cool guitar. You know, if you have any questions about this guitar or this model or any of the models, of course, uh, you can just go on to moreguitars.com. You can call down here and talk to one of our lovely sales associates. Uh, let's see. It's been a while since I've done this. Let's make uh, today's sales associate of the day will be VJ because I have never got to give VJ a shout before. So call down, ask for VJ, and if he's here, he'll help you out. If he's not, just talk to whoever answers the phone. They're all pretty knowledgeable and they're all real good at talking. So they'll be able to answer all of your questions. My name is John. You can call me Smelly and I will see you for the next demo.